Hey scientists, have you ever wondered how living things make more of themselves? Whether it's a fish, a flower, or even fungus, every living organism must reproduce to keep its species going. Today, we're diving into two fascinating ways life multiplies, sexual and asexual reproduction. Let's break it down. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain the processes of asexual and sexual reproduction. Part 1. What is reproduction? Reproduction is how organisms make new organisms, also called offspring. There are two main types, asexual reproduction, where one parent is needed, and sexual reproduction, where two parents are needed. Part 2. Asexual reproduction. Copy and paste life. Asexual reproduction is like copy and paste. One parent organism makes a clone of itself, an offspring that's genetically identical. No partner needed. Common types of asexual reproduction include binary fission, where one cell splits into two, like bacteria. Budding, a new organism grows off the parent, like hydra. Regeneration, growing back missing parts, like starfish. Vegetative propagation, Plants grow from roots, stems, or leaves like potatoes. The pros of asexual reproduction is fast and efficient. The biggest con, there is no genetic diversity. That means if the environment changes, the whole group could be in trouble. Part three, sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction takes two parents. Each gives half of their DNA to create a brand new organism that's genetically unique. Here are the key steps. First, Meiosis creates sex cells like sperm and eggs. Second, fertilization combines them. Third, a cycle forms and grows into a new organism. Here are some examples. You have people, dogs, birds, and most plants. Here are the pros of sexual reproduction. Offspring are all different. They help species survive changes in their environment. The cons, it takes more time and energy to find a mate and reproduce. Fourth, side-by-side -side comparison. There is one parent in asexual reproduction and two parents in sexual reproduction. The offspring are identical clones to the parent in asexual reproduction, while the offspring are genetically unique or different in sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is fast and simple, while sexual reproduction is slower and more complex. There is genetic variation in asexual reproduction so one thing could potentially wipe out the entire population. But with sexual reproduction, there is more genetic variation, which means these types of organisms have a better chance of surviving in different types of environments. Part five, real world connections. Why does this matter? Reproduction helps us understand how traits are passed on, how populations grow, how diseases spread, and how life adapts to the environment. So whether it's a cell cloning itself or a mom and dad passing down eye color, reproduction is at the heart of biology and life itself. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you learned something new and subscribe for more 7th grade science with us. And remember, science is all around you. Peace and have a positive, productive day. day.